Hi, I'm John Holden. Welcome to Earth. Our next story takes us here to Becker, Minnesota. You know, even after a springtime snowstorm like this, it's still nice to walk outside and enjoy the wide open spaces and rural countryside. But this little town is also known for its unique ability to reduce and recycle metal. I'm not talking about any metal, big metal, like junk cars, buses, and metal scrap, thanks to the world's most environmentally friendly automobile shredder. Let's take a look. We all know how important metals, plastics, and materials are to society in our buildings, infrastructures, and automobiles. But what about when they reach the end of life? What's the answer to global eyesores like junkyards and metal scrap piles? Versus putting it in a landfill or having it set around in the woods and rust out or be an eyesore, this is a process that can safely and environmentally process the material and put it back to a new use. One company is reimagining the traditional metal recycling industry to support a more sustainable future. From what started as a single site in the United Kingdom, EMR Metal Recycling has now become a world-leading recycling company, recycling over 10 million tons of metals and plastics every year. Our mission really is to take uh, sustainable materials and remove them from the waste stream. EMR has 130 locations around the world, with around 60 in the USA. But one of its most unique locations is here outside Becker, Minnesota, a small town that is now known for its monster appetite for recycling metal. That's because here on 26 acres of land in rural Minnesota sits one of the largest shredding facilities in the United States, with the most advanced emission control equipment in the world. This would be the first ever of its kind in the world to have this type of metal shredding facility. This facility is capable of bringing all of the air out from the processing facilities and takes all of the particulate matter out of it and burns all the gases off before any of the emissions leave the facility. It's one of the cleanest facilities for a metal shredding facility that exists in the world today. What we've done here is we've put this shredder inside its own enclosure uh, with its own pollution control systems that make this the cleanest uh, shredder in the world. That monster appetite for metal comes from this beast, an 8,000 horsepower mega shredder standing six stories high, two and a half million pounds of steel capable of taking a car, crushing it within seconds. So a shredder this size is able to do about 400 tons of uh, steel per hour, um, which equates to about six cars per minute. Tremendous appetite for, for re recyclable materials. You can easily crush a one-ton pickup. Uh, we can flatten school buses, run those through here also. Um, a school bus. <laughs> absolutely, we can crush a school bus through here in about 10 to 12 seconds. You know, the important thing about cars is there really is never really an end of its life. About 85% of the cars are recyclable at the moment, so you know, we're able to take that, that car and kind of give it a, a, a fresh start. You know, we can remove up to about 85% of the cars, so the, the, both the, the ferrous, the steel, uh, the copper, and the aluminum. We put it on a conveyor belt that takes it in. We can take like a whole auto and shred it into pieces the size of your fist in just a matter of seconds and it separates all the metal so we can send the metal off to mills to be remelted, to be reused, to make bridges, uh, new autos, uh, anything that's made of metal. Here in a control tower overlooking the shredding operation, behind banks of monitors, levers, and buttons, the technology and control behind this giant shredder lies at the hand of operators like Kyle Blomberg and Matt Poster, who say no job is too big or too small for the shredder to find value. 
when you see a car just drop in and it's gone in like two seconds, it's pretty cool. It's a passion. It's passion coming in here for me every day. I start early, get out of here late, um, keep stuff out of the landfills, you know. The more we can recycle, the better off we all are. All this metal shredding power is at the pull of a lever and the push of a button. They even offered me a chance to try manning the controls to show how easy it can be to totally shred a vehicle. That is, if you know what you're doing. Like this? Okay, the other way? Yeah, right, like that, yeah. Okay, and then this one going up? You got it. Wow. You do feel like you can control when you're sitting here. It's kind of like you're master of the universe, or master of old cars. So it's easy to see why this giant shredder is so valuable to our environment when it comes to the end of life for an old car. Rather than being left to rust in a scrap pile, the vehicle can find new life in a host of valuable and recycled materials. I'm very proud of this facility. This, this facility is reimagining metal shredding of what, it's going, what we believe it's going to look like in the future. EMR's goal is to be a, a net carbon zero by 2040. So end of life does not necessarily mean end of value when it comes to metal in old vehicles. It means even old wrecked junkers like this can still find new life ahead of it, thanks to monster recycling efforts on this good earth. I'm John Holden. Thanks for watching.